In this video, we'll be talking about testing hybrid Ionic application using test project. Let's get started. Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExecuteAutomation.com. Today we'll be talking about testing hybrid Ionic application in our section 2 of test project course. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to my Chrome browser. Alright, so this is my test project account and right now I'm in my test project accounts and I'm going to navigate to my Exit Automation test over here. In our last video, we discussed how we can test the YouTube application which we just created and we saw how we can run the test on an real device using native applications but this time we are going to test an hybrid application and then we'll see how we can leverage the power of test project to run the test the most important note here is test project has not officially supported hybrid application none of the documentation actually says that they really support that but i just tried to see how it works i guess it is going to work but let's try to test test project and see if it really works without any problem. So I'm just going to go to the home or maybe I would have clicked the back arrow to go to the list of tests that I have. And then I can try to create a new test to test the hybrid application. So I'm going to select the mobile to test the Ionic applications, which is nothing but a hybrid application. So I'm going to hit next and then I'm going to give a name here. Let's call this as Ionic app test and then you can give the description if you want. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to select Android for platform to be tested to test the application and then I need to add an application here. So basically I don't really have the Ionic application installed within the real device that I got. So I'm going to hit add new here and then I need to upload the APK file here. So basically the APK file that I'm going to test this time is going to be this APK file. So I'm going to select that APK file and I also need to run this or install this APK file within my Xiaomi device. So I'm going to select that and instead of the app here, I'm going to select the APK here, right? And then we should give a name here. So let's call this as Ionic Tabs app. I'm going to hit finish. So you can see I have not chosen the app which is already installed in my device as we did in our last video. Rather, I'm going to upload an APK file. Very, very simple. You can see that it is automatically uploading the APK file for me into test projects server. There you go. And then I'm going to hit finish. I'm going to hit next. And then I'm going to start recording this time as well. So I'm just going to hit finish here. So this way it is going to open a new recorder session for me and then it is connecting to my real device. So while this is connecting, it is also going to install the Ionic application for me within my real Android device. Guess it's installing something and then it's saying that I need to reset the application for confirmation. So I'm going to hit yes. I could see that the application has been installed in my real device. I could see in my real device screen. But for some reason, this guy is blank. So as I said, this particular application is not really supported by test projects official documentation, but I'm just going to give a try here. So let me try to save and exit. And let's try to go back and see if I could able to open the application once again. So I'm going to go back again to the uh, session there. So let me delete this because these two are nothing to do with this. So let me delete this guy as well. And now if I hit this record button. So you can see that this time it has spawned the application for me. It's kind of interesting because the same thing happened in the last session. But for some reason this application was not spawned. I guess it's because of the support. That's fine because as I said before during the initial start test project doesn't really officially support this hybrid application but it's kind of interesting to see that it can still able to recognize these object it's really really nice because these are something which i don't see happening in our xamarin.ui test but it is currently happening over here in the test project that's really cool 
So now let's say if I want to click this chat. So once I click this, you can see it has clicked it in here. The action has been done. And let's say if I want to select this guy, Adam. And it's coming over here. And let's say if I want to go to the accounts. It's going there. Okay, there's an interesting toggle. So I'm going to turn this toggle off. And if I want, let's say, turn this toggle on. Which is cool. And then I'm going to go to the status once again. And let's say if I want to click the submit button. Yep, nothing is going to happen basically, but it's just to see if the submit button has been clicked. So I'm just going to stop the recording here and let's try to run this guy and see if these things are really going to work. So I'm just going to hit this run to see if it's really launching the application and going to perform what I did in the recording. So it launched the app, click the chat. Wow, this is so fast. Cool. This was just a friction of second while I was recording. It was taking so much of time, but when it's executing, it's just executing in a matter of second. That's really cool. And it's really impressive as well. Even this project official documentation says that they don't officially support hybrid app, but I could see that hybrid app is being supported by test project and I could able to run the test without any problem, which is cool. So that's it guys. This is how you can try to run your test using Ionic application from test project. Now next video, we'll try to understand how we can work with different elements like text box and buttons and identify element and work with actions in much greater detail. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.